And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sunburst Stellicorn. That's right, we're building a deck around maybe the worst card in Legends of Runeterra. We're kind of looking through, looking at some, some cards that weren't very good and, and cards that, you know, see no play, of course. And this one popped up. Fledging Stellicorn, a 3-mana 1-2. That's very bad. But unlike Solari Priestess being a 3-mana 1-2 that gives you a really cool invoke card, this just has lifesteal for its one power. <laughs> that's that's an important lifesteal. And then Spell Shield, like you want to actually use a spell to kill this thing anyway. So this card looks really bad for 3 mana. I mean, this could be like 1 mana. <laughs> but anyway, so we're thinking, alright, how can we build a deck around Fledging Stellicorn? How can we put this in a deck? And so basically I was thinking, okay, so, so that, you know, if we're going to uh, play something, we probably need these keywords to kind of matter, right? Life steal, Spell Shield, we probably need those to matter. And how can we get this like 1-2 body to matter? What can we do here? So basically what we did is what we, what we wanted to try is playing that with give it all. So give it all, you know, we get to grant all allies allied keywords. And then we also, you know, raise the allies power and health to something else. So, so basically what we can do is that with give it all, we can have Stellicorn give all of our other things, life steal and spell shield. And then we can turn Stellicorn into being something that's a lot bigger because, uh, you know, like we'll have whatever, whatever else that we have, will make this thing bigger. So that's kind of the plan here is having fledging Stellicorn with give it all. So hopefully that that'll work. Now you know then then uh, filling out the rest of the uh, rest of the deck after that. Decide to go with Vi. Of course Vi is awesome with give it all with giving everything tough and challenger and it can be a very big body. So we can turn everything else into being that. Um, and then besides that went with Leona to go with Daybreak, where just like these other Daybreak cards like we wanted ways to just put a lot of units into play and like these Daybreak units are like good defense oriented units and so they usually just kind of like sit and play anyway. And so we can just have like these daybreak things sit in play and we make them bigger with give it all. Um, so uh, let's see. So for our keywords, we have the fledging Stellicorn with the lifesteal spell shield. So that could be pretty cool giving like all of your stuff spell shield. That could be pretty sweet. And uh, then, you know, of course, our challenger tough with Vi. And then we have two eclipse dragons in here with the fury. So we could give all of our stuff fury as well. And then, of course, Eclipse Dragon has is a Daybreak card, but also has the cool Nightfall thing. If you can have like Robin in play, so that everything's Daybreak, and then um, and then you get to play Eclipse Dragon on Nightfall, you'll get the Daybreak and the Nightfall. You get both bonuses. Um, Daybreak gives us you know like Sunburst for some good removal. We can get some Overwhelm with Zenith Blade, so we could maybe give something Overwhelm with Zenith Blade, and then uh, give it all, and then give them all Overwhelm. So that's that's also possible. Uh, so that's kind of what our deck's going to be about. So we'll see if this actually works or not. We're calling it Sunburst Stellicorn. All right. Basically, I wanted to say like like a you know like the Daybreak, right? Like we're playing the Daybreak cards with the Stellicorn, um, and so I just kind of use Sunburst because of the alliteration there. Um, yeah. So that that's how the deck name came about. All right. So we're going to try Fledging Stellicorn. Of course, it's Meme Tier Monday. That's what we try to do is just play some crazy decks here on Meme Tier Monday. We just play them over in normal. Because they are kind of crazy, and you know, this is fledging Stellicorn. <laughs> well, Sans, I mean, it's got just good cards in it. We'll just keep the give it all, though, and just mulligan the rest of these spells and see what we got. All right, we got our combo. Raise your weapon, we got our combo. Fledging Stellicorn. Yeah, it's the new Bubble Bear. So Steve Rubin said that that Stellicorn at 2-3 was completely broken. I mean, I guess it'd be good against aggro. I can't imagine a Trundle, a really in Soul deck, would care about a 2-3 lifesteal too much. Even with, like, the spell shield so they wouldn't kill it. Ours is the one true light. Okay, Golden Sister. Let's take the Golden Sister. Golden Sister could be awesome with Give It All. Man, they're being super aggressive. 
With like a really in soul as the champion, I thought that they were gonna be like a slower deck, but they're being super aggressive. Follow the horizon. Punish transgressions. You cannot sway me. Alright, so this next turn we'll just play the Stellicorn, and then Robin, and then Golden Sister, and then give it all. So that's my turn four, five, six, seven. Stop killing me so fast. Dang. This is a super aggro deck. Stop killing me so fast. I'm just playing one twos. Give me a break. Well, we gotta block with both to stay alive. Back heretic. All right, well, I'm just trying to do a cool thing over here. My opponent can chill out and not kill me so fast. Yeah, that was super aggressive. <laughs> yeah, glad, glad we have that lifesteal. That one point of lifesteal really saved us. Uh, man, I, I can't keep fledging Stellicorn, right? Okay, so we'll keep the... Solari Priest. It's like definitely gonna keep Sunburst for Hecarim, but even like Sunburst for Zed isn't bad either. I'm gonna just I'm gonna uh, bank this spell mana. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm, I'm very scared of Zed. Whoa. Whoa. Why is everybody so aggressive? Why are they killing us so fast? I don't like it. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Night falls. Shadows gather. Do I need a sunburst this thing? So the copy in hand won't have the plus two, plus two anymore. It will just start creating three ones. Shadow of my power. Okay, so that's one that creates three ones. Uh, no, I don't ever feel. I don't get the feeling that we're consistently paired against your counter in this game. It, it has seemed like it today, right? Like the the Taskmaster deck played against five control decks, and now this one plays against two aggro decks. I guess I just play Vi and challenge this thing, or I just or play a shield bear and a mountain goat. No, I want to play that shield bear on defense, so I could play like a traveler. Next turn we'll have six mana, we can have Shield Bearer and Traveler. Justice first hit. Trouble coming at ya. Silent as death. That's not good. That is really not good. Man, they even just passed priority to me before I attacked. I could have just passed and they wouldn't have been able to do that at all. Am I flesh or shadow? Equinox? Not Equinox. Each journey is a discovery. I have unfinished business. So much elusive damage. <laughs> So much elusive damage. Daylight star will rule the skies. Night falls, shadows gather. Keep searching. 
searching. You cannot escape. Why? Yeah, I was gonna say, why would that block and not the three one block? Hopefully that's us healing our Nexus for six. Okay. Yeah, it's not over yet. The game is not programmed to give you the hardest match available though. That's not. Like how how would you how would you even go about programming like that? Like how is that even possible? Blessed daylight surrounds you. They'll never see me coming. Clad in shining sunlight. A Leona would have been really nice to be able to play Leona and stun that Hecarim. game Insolence. yeah I mean that's, that's that's just game all right oh and two yeah we need to be able to stun that hecker on we need a Leona okay I like this okay we have this give it all we'll keep the Robin to give it all Look for some cheaper units. And fail. Okay, I guess Fledging Stellicorn counts as a cheaper unit. <laughs> Come on, Fledging Stellicorn, you can do it. Pablo's been down, but he's near out! Hey, hey. Alright, this is gonna be a good fledging Stellicorn game. I can feel it. <laughs> Alright, so the question is do we want to get another Stellicorn in play? Keep up, keep up. Get Solari Soldier, or let's see, or we could go as Priestess. No, let's get another Stellicorn in play. Is the one true light. So we'll play this. They can challenge my 3-3 three, three, three if they want. That'd be cool. That's fine. Better not challenge. No! Come on! Oh, I, I don't have my set. I don't have a sad. Alright, I'm over it. So give it all, we'll be able to turn these all into... I mean, all I'll do is turn turn these all into, yeah, like 5-5, five, five, life steal, spell shields. What? Okay, later. So we'll play another Robin. <clears throat> I don't change fate, but I can see it. We can go Robin and Zenith Blade. And then we can go Eclipse Dragon. Kneel before me. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Daylight everlasting! So Laddie control all that her womp touches. I mean rubber chick! Alright. We'll get some lifesteal. We'll get this back. Um, next turn, it will be 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll have 10 mana. So basically, do I want do I want to play Z Do I want to play give it all next turn or do I want to wait? 
So like next turn I could go Shield Bear and then give it all, or I could do like Zenith Blade right now on like the Robins. They can all have Overwhelm. I guess I could still do I could still do give it all next turn, but then I wouldn't have the Shield Bear. I'd just have the three of these things. Do I want to get more things in play before give it all? I mean, I do have another give it all. So it'll be 6 7 life steal, spell shield, overwhelm. Alright. It's meme tier day. This is what we came here to do. Let's do it. Fledging, Stellicorn, give it all. Yeah! All right, six seven overwhelm spell shield life steal. Gotta go with the flow. Sweet. Punish the transgressions. Let's go. You pay first. You can't do this. Heal this nexus right back up. So it was twenty to eight before attacking. After attacking, just flip it around. 20 to 7. <laughs> the other way around. And now turn 9, we can go Shield Bearer and Eclipse Dragon, and then turn 10, we can do Give It All again. Clad in shining sunlight. Oh, never mind. I have 8 mana. I don't get to do that plus Eclipse Dragon. What was I thinking? What? Why they kill my fledging Stellicorn? It's not cool. Get out of here. With your fledging Stellicorn hate. I guess I just attack. Yeah, guess I just attack. Light. Fire. You will never take down my fledging Stellicorn. Boom! Fledging Stellicorn for the win. And it gets to do the lethal damage. That's right. Fledging Stellicorn lethal. Has anybody else ever, ever had fledging Stellicorn uh, hit somebody for lethal? <laughs> we may we may be the only person. Hey, all good, Putra. Welcome, welcome. You you entered right at the perfect time. We just killed somebody with a fledging Stellicorn. Maybe the only person in the history of the game to do that. <laughs> and you don't think anybody else ever will? We may be the only person ever. Okay, so we're going to be playing against Fearsome, and that's sad. <laughs> My 3 mana 1-2, probably not good against Fearsome. But we're going to try. Leona's good against Fearsome. So what are your Shield Bearer good against Fearsome? Mountain Goat's good. Cool. We get some gems. We can buff up this Stellicorn. Some gems. Raise your 
weapon, Sunwood. Alright, so Vi. Ooh, okay, now we talking. Punish transgressions. So basically I have this Solari soldier being a 3-2. I want to play Leona on their turn to stun something on their turn, but I guess I'll, I'm just going to be stunning this Wraith Caller. Great Mystic Shot draw. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. I have something that does one damage to kill my Leona. Like, I want to have as many things in play for, like, whenever we give it all later, right? So, like, I I don't want things to die on my side. I don't really want to trade my Solari Soldier for Mist Wraith right now. Two out of four for Leona. Bless the faithful and so three out of four. No place for the kind. Why stands for vicious. By having two health, it's not much health. Come on, play something pre combat. Come on, play something pre combat. Yes. Oh no. Well, that's still fine. Give it all. Let's go. Let's turn them all into 9 4. 9 4. Uh, I guess we got Lifesteal, Spell Shield, Challenger, Tough. <laughs> you go, Fledging Stellicorn. thing is, Mist Wraith is still ridiculous, and so... Okay, so we will block no mercy for heretics. this one. We go to 11. Traveler. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I am the bulwark right, we'll Level up this Leona. Follow the horizon. I tried being eat this. Level up Vi. Coming to save the day. What a wrecking. Or wreck it. Spectral Matron Ledros. 
We got spe Spectral Matron Ledros up in here. These travelers, they are, you know, like, they can block the fearsome. Ooh, that's a good pill, Cascade. I don't draw a card with a Pale Cascade if I cast it right now, but then Solari Priestess trades over here. I think that's still, I think that's worth it. I know, I know I don't get to draw a card, but that's probably worth it. Well, no, because then that turn that gets rid of my Sunburst from being able to kill this Ledros also. Open your eyes. The guilty would bend. Oh yeah, no, we don't need to yet. Yeah, because we need that silence. So they have two Ledroses in hand, because of the, the Matrons. They have they have two of these. Hey TK. Alright, so that's the first one gone. Messenger? Let's just go Messenger. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. Cool. Robin's great. Robin sets up like a, a turn of us playing a whole bunch of Daybreak stuff in, in one turn. Wow, that's pretty nice. Each journey is a discovery. Hit them where it hurts. Freeze! Witness glory! My spirit shines. Is this what you seek? Alright, get back to 20. Because, yeah, you know, like, basically, like, Ledros plus Atrocity, like, that kind of stuff. You know, gotta... Keep this life total high. Cool. Some. Daylight, everlasting. Sunlight lies. Every step brings me closer to deliverance. Okay, so those, those are all ephemeral. So we're going to take nine. Block here, heal again, and then take six, or I just throw this thing away. I probably just throw that thing away. Yeah, let's just say a twenty. Play another Robin. And planning on just open attacking at this point. We're going to have Fledging Stellacorn kill them. And then these other things if Fledging Stellacorn doesn't work. Alright, go get him, Fledging Stellacorn. You can do it. Second Fledging Stellicorn Lethal? Come on, second Fledging Stellicorn Lethal. They can have like the burst speed mist rates and, and do some blocking. Remember, so the Vi is going to do five damage also. All I need is one of these four to hit. 
and I have a, a Bastion for protection. There we go, fledging Stellicorn lethal. Let's go. Also, don't kill my dragon. That's not cool. Go get him, fledging Stellicorn. You need more power. Fourteen two, Stellicorn. Oh, I can't believe we did it. We've done it twice. Ooh, the deep deck. The deep deck will give us time to set up, but then will they just overwhelm us with tons of, uh, tons of really fast sea monsters and Riptide and all that kind of stuff. But they'll give us time to set up. So those all of y'all on YouTube. This is, you know, this is the fifth, this is game number five. This is technically the sixth game. We we just played a game against scouts, and we had a, a good start with uh, Daybreak and Mystic shot their Lucian as Lucian was fortune scouts, and they conceded on turn three, because this is normal, so sometimes you have people that just try to go with the fast aggro deck, and if they're not ahead, they just concede and go to the next game. So we're just not counting that. We're just going, going to go ahead and record another one. But I can say that we're already already three and two in case we lose this. <laughs> Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. No, I never considered Soraka for this instead of Leona. I, I considered uh, Tarek. I was thinking making like Tarek with like Bastion and Astral Protection, um, and you know like your Pell Cascades and Guiding Touch and stuff like that. But decided to go more Daybreak and uh, decided to. Cut that stuff, go Daybreak, go Leona instead. Alright, that Obliterate, that could be good against Nautilus in the future. I don't know if they're like Jaw Hunters, right? Like they're passing and seeing if they want to like challenge something with Jaw Hunters. No, they just got a landmark. I don't really know why I'm playing this. I should just be attacking before first, right? Like, it doesn't make sense to play this before combat, does it? Because obviously there's nothing to stun. Yeah, I probably should just attack before. Alright, well, it worked out. We still still dealt 4 damage. Traded our 3-2 for Agile Hunters. It's fine. Okay, so they're just passing to me. Just passing over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be worried about Ruination. One girl wrecking crew. Another Jaw Hunters doesn't take down either of my champions by itself, but Jaw Hunters plus something can kill like Leona, but I gotta back up Leona. sense for the card for them to have. Hey, Brutal. Hello. Devotion through trouble. Coming at ya. 23 cards left. Probably not going deep immediately. I guess two jettisons would have done it. Next turn, give it all. I like the atrocity gone. <clears throat> please don't ruination. Please let me cast get it all. Give it all. I want to give all these things the spell shield. 
So they would all be 7-5 Challenger, Tough. I guess it would be 8, because this would go up 1. So they'd all be 8-5 Challenger, Tough, Lifesteal, Spell Shield. What's up, Bruise by Dog? We're currently killing people with Fledging Stellicorn. We're 2-2, two and, two, and both wins. St Fledging Stellicorn dealt the lethal damage. No ruination. Let's go. Hopefully this works. They could still play it. Like, worst case scenario, sweet. I was gonna say, worst case scenario would be Grasp the Undying on the Vine. Kill the five, and then these would just be like three fives, and they wouldn't have Challenger or Tough. <laughs> Spell Shield, Life Steal. All right, so they're gonna get a bunch of sea monsters this next turn. They are deep. My best draw is Robin right now. Right, because I go, I go Robin, which levels up Leona, and then I go Morning Light, which stuns two things. Do I have 10 mana? Oh no, I only have 9 mana. Never mind, I can't do both. No, and then we drew Robin. So if I... So I could cast Morning Light, and then we stun one thing with Morning Light, is that right? I don't really know why I picked that one. Basically planning on doing this and like Mystic Shotting the 3-2. Because I'm not worried about Ruination, all these things have Spell Shield. So like that's pretty nice that I don't have to worry about Ruination at all. This would turn all these things to have 7 health. And tough, so I could also they also kill these seven sevens. Daylight is unrelenting, but not eternal. Obviously now it won't be done, but we took out a seven seven. Light. That's their second atrocity gone. Blood and guts, golden glory. All right, so I get to keep everything alive. Okay, so we'll have you trade. Witness glory. You kill this. You kill this. You kill this. So they get to stay alive for now, we wipe out everything, and then our goat dies. If only your life total could go over 20. Our life total would be ridiculous right now. I'll just hold on to this gem for now. Let's see what we want to do with that later. So if they go Nautilus, we go Falling Comet. I should just take another falling comment. I don't really know why I did that. I cannot play the Nautilus also. The blessed isles live through me. I go Robin and then a priestess. I guess I need to obliterate this thing. Yeah, I don't know why I clicked this meteor shower. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Because the Maokai gives them two blockers. Protect our grove. No, fledging silicorn was going to be lethal. All right, so I was going to set it up, so I was going to have my 8-1 challenge the life steal at the very end, and I was going to attack with the others. I was going to have the... I was going to make sure the fledging Stellicorn was the thing doing the lethal damage. I'm still counting it. So 3-2 and two with 3 wins with the fledging Stellicorn dealing the lethal damage every time. How about that? This deck actually kind of worked. 
<laughs> Fletching Stellicorn and give it all. We we got to have that combo those last three games. We got to pull that combo off every single game, and we won them from there, uh, making very big life steal and spell shield units. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, because then, yeah, they can't really stop my spell shield units. Um, so there we go. Give it all and fledging Stellicorn. So, uh, you know, called if you're for those of y'all just joining, called it Sunburst Stellicorn, basically because I just want to say like Daybreak, but I just wanted the alliteration in with the Daybreak. There, so we have a Sunburst Stellicorn deck. Pretty awesome. That's what me. This is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Find some underused cards and figure out how we can build decks around them. That was pretty sweet. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. If you have any uh, suggestions about other Meme Tier decks that you want to see next week um, or anything else like that, leave those comments. Love seeing those. Let me know how y'all liked this deck. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Sunburst Stellicorn, and I'll see you for the next video.